Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video and this one right here we're going to do Andrew Tate uh, and the title is Christian Kickboxer Champion Praises Islam. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Islam fixes a lot of the problems that men are car currently facing. Yeah. The problems we're discussing on this show, Islam yeah. fi fixes all of them. Mm. Right? That's the first thing about Islam. And I'm not a Muslim, right? If I had to choose a religion, I would, because I live in an Orthodox Christian country, I go to the Orthodox Christian church. I donate $20,000 a month to the church in the country okay. I live in. The church, okay. the church in Romania is very powerful, and I like having church friends. So mm. I give them a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. So I would guess I'm an Orthodox Christian. But if I had to bet on one religion as if I were betting on the stock market for the future, you have to bet on Islam. Mm. The, because Muslims are intolerant. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying that disrespectfully, because if you're tolerant of everything, then you stand for nothing. Yeah. Facts. Christians are so tolerant now. You don't believe it. They have gay pastors that are, I'm not even anti-gay. But if the book says don't have like what? Yeah, what yeah. do you believe in? Now? You're right, yeah. right if, you're now. if you're tolerant of everything, you stand for nothing. I can walk through London with a T-shirt saying Jesus is gay and nothing will happen to me. If I did the same thing with the. Islamic prophet, I'd be dead before I got to the end of the street. Boom. That's how much they believe and respect. And I respect people who stick up for what they believe in. Yeah. It's not even about me believing in it. I respect them because they, they believe and they will defend. Muslims are the only people who will defend their religion. They will defend their beliefs. They refuse to be mocked. Mm -hmm. They refuse to be insulted. And I respect that about them. I respect that. That's an amazing thing about them. Right? And the third point is, and I've been all around the world, some of the best countries in the world today are the first world Muslim nations. Yeah. Mm, Qatar, you can go to Qatar, you can fall asleep with a million dollars on your lap in the middle of the street. Nothing's going to happen to you. Saudi Arabia as you well. You can go to Saudi, nothing will happen to you. You can go to Dubai, UAE, nothing's going to happen to you. They leave their cars parked with the, with the keys, keys inside. In. It's so safe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's so safe. Women, everyone's married. Every woman obeys her husband. Every single woman has four or five, six kids. Big families, all the things we're talking about, all the problems we have here, right? They've got none of that, none of it, because of Islam. Islam keeps society in the role where women obey their man, women have children, women have big families, women are exceptionally happy to do so. Yes. Before, yeah. before some Western girl comes in here and runs her mouth, the, the Islamic women are happier than any f you're going to see in the club tonight. They're very true. They're happy. <laughs> society is functioning. Their population is growing because in most Western countries, the population is declining. Yep. Tim Castle's talking about it today. I was talking yeah. about we Two people on the have boat. one yeah. kid. Doesn't work. Doesn't <clears> work, right? Do you, two people need to have 3.1 kids because people die, right? People die prematurely, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So we have population problems in the West. They have none of the population problems. Society is functioning. And that's, that's what society is. Society is... Society starts at the smallest possible group. You have families, and families make a street, and that street makes a village, and that village makes a town, that town makes a city, and that city makes a country. So if it's broken yeah. at the very fundamental level, if it's family level's broken, then it's broken the whole way up. Yep, yep. And that's what's happened in the West. And the first world Islamic countries have none of those problems. So if you're going to talk about a belief system that fixes issues, you need to go to Islam. And I will that, say this that too. will fix <laughs> everything. But I just have absolute, even though I wouldn't identify as Muslim, yeah. I, have su I have absolute respect for the ideology, yeah. respect for the mentality, respect for the warrior aspect of it. I, I respect they it. They don't play. They don't play. You can't insult Ooh. their shit. But you can insult the church all day. You can make fun of it. There, there's a show on Netflix about a gay Jesus. That's a joke, right? Ha, ha, ha. And what, what do the Christians do? Nothing. Yeah. Christians, Christianity is a dead religion. If you're a Christian... And I'm saying this as a Christian myself. Christianity is a dead religion which is confined to, to the, the history books. It's dying out. Your own pope. The pope goes up there and talks LGBTQ shit That's now. crazy. It is over. That's you don't crazy. stand for anything. You don't believe in anything. You have no boundaries. You're walked on. You're mocked. The whole thing is a joke. Being a Christian now is nothing more than advertising. You're a loser. It's a losing religion because you've lost to Islam. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I mean, he is just <laughs> gems, gems, gems everywhere. Um, <clears throat> you see, I agree with him like 100%. 100%, I agree with him. But um, I'm not saying all Christians behave like that. You know? Yeah. 
yeah, we can call Christianity as it's a dead religion, but it doesn't mean that other Christians don't follow exactly what the Bible says. There are people who are staunch Christians and they follow exactly what the Bible says and they don't do uh, the, the things that um, the Bible condones and all those kind of stuff. Anyway, um, if you want to generalize things, of course, um, we can we can argue that Islam is far better compared to Islam in some in some other um, things. And of course, he has mentioned the things that um, I mean. Christians are so tolerant. I mean, you can do anything, and they will just be there standing, just looking at you. You know, just because um, I think the unity is not there. First, they. Um, uh, what do you call this? There's so much going on in Christianity that you can't even fathom. There's so many things that are in there that I'm like, oh my God. So, um, Islam itself, just just like the way Andrew said, I mean, he can bet on Islam any day, anywhere, and whatnot. Because you can't just simply go out there and start mocking uh, the Islam community without them coming to you and attacking you. And it has been proven out there. Look at, um, look at, or just go to Netflix. Netflix, those uh, series that was called the, there's a, so many, so many movies about Jesus. They're mocking Jesus. They're mocking, I mean, so many series. And then there's now, uh, those are series that came out called The Savior or something like that, also proclaiming that that's Jesus and whatnot. And to be honest, you see things in there and you begin to wonder like so you're telling me there is no board of directors who are christians who who like you know the 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 christian community who are uh you know at the hierarchy who are up there who can say no we don't condone all this thing please just close it down no one speaks of these things because of course most of these people they are um they actually accept this kind of agendas. They accept this kind of things to just to be put out there. So the easy religion we can use is Christianity. Do you understand? I mean, that's the easiest way we, we can go because we know if we go to Islam, we're gonna get a lot of backlash and whatnot. Just, just um, remember that movie. Uh, what's the name? The the movie with the, with the with the funny. Ah, what's the name? The guy who was the prince of I don't know what. Prince of what? I don't know. They were running and then he was shooting people. Tish, tish. I don't know if you remember that. The comedy. Yes, the, yeah, the comedy aspect. You know, they were mocking the leader of that country and also I think also the religion aspect of it also. Do you know the kind of backlash that thing got on the internet? And, and they were not showing it in some other Arabic countries. It was burnt. It's a comedy. Yeah? Yes, it's a comedy. The guy with the yeah, beard yeah, like I remember this. It. Yes, That's I don't know the name. I've forgotten them. If I get the name, I'm going to tell you guys. Maybe I'll just check it out. I don't know. So, you can imagine the kind of backlash those people were getting. I think it was cancelled in many um, Arabic countries and even other, you know, cities probably in the United States and whatnot. I don't know. But... You could tell that these guys are so united to a point that we don't want bullshit. If you're coming here with the bullshit man out of the window, do you understand? But Christians will accept anything and then they will just let it slide. Just because we are so tolerant, we just want to accept anything that comes to us and just agree with it. Do you understand? I don't know. What do you think? People follow blindly. Yeah. Because the Pope is like the highest... Can I? Can continue talking. Let me just check that to go. Oh. Um, because the Pope has come out and said, let's be accepting of this. You accept it, you know. And then and then what? You're just changing what you believe in. That believe in. That's why you're making yourself easy targets for someone to say your faith means nothing. It's a dead religion. Yeah. And then he spoke about this thing of where you can be in maybe Saudi Arabia, sleeping with a million on your laps, and no one will steal that from you. Yeah. No one will take that from you. And 
if you compare it to other countries that is not the situation uh, what i love about islam when it comes to women and uh, men is that everyone is it turns everyone it checks everyone rather yeah because true. if you respect yourself I, I don't know i just feel like there's some s sense of respect that exists you know when it comes to marriages when it comes to kids all those things yeah the, the just like the way Andrew was saying, like to fix uh, the society, I mean, everything, trust me. If, if, if today, let's say, for example, if today, uh, we, we, let's say we proclaim that the whole entire world is Islam, I'm sure many things are going to be fixed. So many things are going to be fixed. And trust me, society is going to run back to normal. It's going to be one of the best societies out there. Just like the way Andrew was saying. Look at all these Arabic countries. Look at how they manage to move from point A to point B at a really, really, really rapid pace. Do you understand? And as much as you want to think that people are complaining there, of course, there are one or two people, even women who are complaining, women who are so indoctrinated into the West Western society that the ones who probably would want to maybe uh, complain. Do you understand? But I'm sure they are not that... I mean, they are happy people. Do you understand? At the end of the day, when the society is running in a good way, what's 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 um, for you to complain about? Do you understand? What's for you to complain about? Just uh, and something really funny is that maybe in time, maybe not in our times, maybe later in the future, we will find out that um, you see, like, like now, the population is kind of declining or reducing because whose population especially the western world and whatnot the idea of just you having one kid and whatnot this and all this kind of thing you see so and you wonder why maybe these islams have two wives or three wives and they have like 13 kids and whatnot do you understand and in future these people are, are the ones who are going to run the world these people are the ones who are going to be the, the people to control the entire society and whatnot, or the entire the entire uh, country, you know. And um, your 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 kids are the ones who are going to actually answer to them at some point. Do you understand? Because when 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 you have a bigger family with purpose, then it remains more genuine enough to even help themselves more. Imagine you raising one kid and then. The kid stays there alone and then the kid doesn't want to have um, maybe a wife or whatnot he wants to be alone at some point do you understand generation thing is you're gone right there you know the lineage is already finished do you understand you wonder why today but when you look at all the presidents but then that doesn't justify many wives yeah, yeah exactly you know? because you as a wife can have as many children as you want yeah if yeah if you want but it can I'm talking about a big family. You, you as a woman, you can't go more than how many children? Depending on your age and how you want to live and how you want to, do you understand? You can say, I want to have like five kids, maximum. Yeah, you can say you want, that, that's why, you know? but, but then that's different. Mm -hmm. That's different no, because <clears throat> someone won't wait until they're 35 to get married. It also depends who you're dating. No, I'm talking, okay, which one is the easier? The earlier you marry, the earlier you start having children. Okay, which one is easier? A man who has three wives and a man who has one wife. Who's up to have a big family? That argument will never make sense to me, but go on. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is that what Andrew Ted was just saying here was absolutely true, if it's not a fact. And yeah, I mean, the thing is, things are changing now, especially when you look at religion. That's why you find Islam. Most of the people are converting to Islam nowadays because they find this is where I find peace. This is where I find um, the, uh, the, 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 I mean, I find it's much better comp compared to any other because it fixes so many things for me. Yeah, what do you think? You done? accountability part of it i really do support and admire so 
yeah that's that let us know what you guys actually think if there's anything else let us know down below by giving us the name or the link to it what, whatever you want us to react to make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you and we'll see you in our next reaction video and deuces